I have to start start recording again because I just had an alert come in on my phone, and when I do, when I have an alert come in, it erases the recording. So. Good evening, <laughs> again. <clears throat> Titus two verse thirteen. We are waiting for the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Could happen any time now. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just said there. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. He guides us. He strengthens us. He encourages us. He is our best friend. Our Savior. He washes your sins clean, past, present, future. When we repent, and we believe the shedding of His blood to wash our sins clean, you are rapture ready. It's going to happen any time now. They are crashing the world's economy and they're going to usher in the Great Reset, which is another word for, you know what, but I don't want to get my video labeled, so. Hang in there, family. Time is short. I know these are tough times. Boy, oh boy, do I know these are tough times. That's not doom and gloom. For the church, <coughs> excuse me, we know where this is heading. We know we're going home, and this is exciting for us. You know, I, I've even been hearing comments like, oh, don't be so focused on the rapture. I am focused on the rapture. We get a crown for excited about his appearing. We are instructed to look up. Our redemption draws nigh, and that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of people out there who may be alone. They don't have a spouse to come home to. I, I don't have a spouse to come home to. Uh, maybe have health issues, financial issues, all of the above button. You know, and um, just need that encouragement. Don't give up. Hang in there. I know life's tough, but we have so much to look forward to. The rapture's going to happen soon. That's encouraging, and that's what we're supposed to do. <clears throat> I am looking for the rapture, and I am excited about the rapture. I'm going to keep talking about the rapture. I mean, anybody that doesn't like it, they don't have to listen, you know? But um, I'm, ready. I'm ready to go home. I am. Tired of the health issues, tired of the struggling, tired of the evil people, tired of this dictatorship that we have here in this country. <clears throat> um, you know, it's that, yeah, that's what I'll call them because, I mean, in my opinion, that's what it is. I'm, I'm so ready to go home. You know, I really am. Oh, I did want to say, um, mention that Fajita Company, in, it's in, uh, Colleyville, Texas. <clears throat> I am um, lied. Keep me in your prayers because um, I'm not getting that extra income that I was when I was babysitting. So keep me in your prayers because um, it's not easy finding a job right now. So. But you know what? If you're going through the same thing, <clears throat> we're not going to be here. Excuse me. We're not going to be here much longer. Encourage one another. Every day we're here, plant those seeds. This world is lost and dark. No, I, I mean, I wish nobody had to be left behind, but there are going to be people left behind. Get the left behind letter together. Get out your Bible. Be strong in prayer. Keep planting seeds. Share in the gospel. Because <coughs> this world's dark. And you know what? A lot of people don't know about the rapture. There's a lot of people out there that never heard of the rapture. I have family members, close family members, that believe, but if you even mention Jesus to them, they get mad. And their kids have no idea what the rapture is. <clears throat> you know, there's only, there's only so much we can do, you know, we just got to keep sharing the gospel and plant seeds. I'm going to take a drink real quick. They are crashing this world's economy. <clears throat> but we're going home soon. The Daily. I'm going to spell out this. I don't know how to pronounce it. H O D L. I don't know how to pronounce that. <clears throat> this just came out JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America.
two of the largest banks suffer a lot, <laughs> a huge loss. What is that like? Over $4 billion. $4 trillion. <clears throat> um, it's, it's, woo, a lot. Yeah, four point five billion. Yeah, the two largest banks in the U.S. say they expect to lose a collective of four point five billion from customers who can't pay their bills. I, can't, I know that is. <clears throat> no, it's times are tough. Every month I struggle to make my car payment now. Still don't, still don't have it. I'm not worried though. I know everything will work out. I don't know we're going home soon. For the first time, one of my credit cards, I couldn't pay them the whole amount due. I had to pay them like half. And now they're like, hey, um, we kind of need our money. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey, um, I could put water in a flower pot and see if money grows, but it doesn't. So, I don't know, I can't, you know, it's like they, it's like they think I just don't want to pay them. Well, I can't pay them. Car payment, no, oh, it's something to work out. <clears throat> but see, we're going to, Christians know why this has happened. We're not going to be here much longer, guys. <clears throat> J.P. Morgan Chase says that its net charge-offs, which are debts that the bank does not expect to receive, hit $2 billion. $2 billion in the first quarter of this year. Just in the first quarter of this year. That's only twice the amount of unrecoverable debt compared to the same quarter last year. <laughs> and I know people that still support Biden. If this is built back better, I'd hate to see what their ideal force is. Meanwhile, Bank of America reported $1.5 in debt charge-offs, a surge from $807 million a year prior. BOFA, B-O-F-A, says those losses stem mainly from credit card debt that will likely never be paid again. <coughs> you know, it's, um... Dude, the credit cards, I, I found out one of my credit cards, um, which I haven't used, in months was over limit and I'm like why is it over limit because of the interest rate they charged me $35 in interest and I'm like wow really and then you get these other offers in the mail hey sign up for this credit card and I'm like you've got to be crazy man no <clears throat> Bank of America is seeing cracks in the finance of borrows with below prime credit scores whose household spending is affected by higher interest rates and inflation, Chief Financial Officer Alistair Brothwick told Amos on an earnings call. While lenders earn money from interest payments, they seek to avoid situations in which customers fall so far behind on loans that they have to be written off. <coughs> Net charge-offs, excuse me, are also on the rise at Citigroup, as well as Wells Fargo, that's one bank. As a recent poll from the Federal Reserve finds most banks are now tightening lending standards for most types of loans. Quote, banks reported tight... <coughs> excuse me. Banks reported tighter standards and weaker demand for home equity lines of credit. Moreover, For credit card, auto, and other consumer loans, standards reportedly tightened and demand weakened on balance. Despite the losses, both J.P. Morgan Chase and Bank of America say their balance sheets are sound. I don't see how that's possible. You know what? <coughs> I'm sorry, one second. I had to pause the video again, I'm sorry. I'm ready for this allergy medicine to work. You know what? Um... If they have this huge unrecovered debt, <clears throat> how, how, can they be, can their balance sheets be sound? <clears throat> I'm taking, they don't, <clears throat> they don't tell you the whole story. Um, one of these days, I promise I'll stop coughing in these videos. I'm going to believe in Jesus' name that this new treatment they're giving me is going to work. 
you're not telling us the whole truth. Sorry, I had to pause the video again. Because, think about it. If these banks say, okay, we're struggling, we're going to crash. Banks are closing and more banks are going to close. What's going to happen? They're worried people will start pulling out their money. So. <clears throat> you got to be as blind as a billy goat not see what's going on. God has either blessed you with your eyes open or your eyes closed. We are blessed, family, that our eyes are open. Because there's, there's even a lot of Christians. Their eyes are closed. <clears throat> and, yeah, it's really sad. What we're seeing happen is crashing the current economy and ushering the new one. J.P. Morgan Chase earned $49.6 in profit last year, while Bank of America earned to $24.9 billion. But J.P. Morgan Chase <coughs> and Bank of America has suffered $4.5 billion and losses from customers, like most of us who can't pay the bills. <clears throat> no. So, if you're struggling to pay the bills, believe me, you're not alone. A lot of us are. Seems like you're just running in circles, and no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you work, you can't get the bills paid. <clears throat> You know, not everything always works out. Every now and then I get those thoughts creeping in my mind because my car is going to be paid off in um, 13 months. I think it'd be 13 or 14 months. <clears throat> and I'm thinking, <laughs> what if I lose it right before I get it paid off? And I'm like, nope. <clears throat> Satan, you need to leave right now in Jesus' name. You have no power. You have no authority over me. And I have full Faith in my Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior. And I know everything's going to work out. See, if you ever get those thoughts that come into your head, no, nope. I have faith in my Savior. And you need to leave right now, Satan, in Jesus' name. Everything always works out. And guys, we are so close to going home. We are sitting on G, waiting on L. And I promise you, if you're struggling, Jesus will get you through. Never stop praying. Stay close to the Lord. Because remember, <clears throat> you ever think, <clears throat> well, this person doesn't seem to even try to be close to the Lord. And they seem to skate through life. First of all, we don't know whatever we don't know what they're going through. They may seem like they're skating through life, but we don't we don't know what somebody's going through. But <clears throat> Satan doesn't focus too much, so much on the ones he already has. He already has them. He goes after the ones that mean the threat. The ones God has big plans for. So, and remember, I'm going to be looking for you at the marriage supper. We're going to give each other a big hug. You guys, I love you guys so much, and you guys mean so much to me. I always get emotional when I, when I say this. I'm blown away by the outpouring of prayers and support and love and all the help you guys have given me. <clears throat> all the prayers you gave me. Like, was, do you remember Diamond? You guys, some of y'all remember Diamond. Diamond um, died of cancer. Went to be the Lord Rainbow Bridge. And <clears throat> God sent my brothers and sisters to help me. I give God all the praise and all the glory. Amen. But he sent you guys to help me. And you know what? Because of y'all, Diamond was able to live longer and be with us longer. I still have Smokey. Smokey still has that huge lump on his eye. And, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to remove it. Um, first of all, the cost, but mainly because of his age. You know, he's, uh, like 15, so, yeah. <clears throat> it doesn't seem to bother him. It just looks horrible. But, yeah, you know what? You're going to be seeing your pets soon. Imagine getting to heaven. So you guys, we have so much to look forward to. Imagine getting to heaven. First of all, Jesus. We're going to be face to face with Jesus soon. Can you imagine that, guys? <clears throat> but imagine going to heaven and Jesus saying, I have somebody that wants to see you. 
and all the pets you've ever owned running up to you at once. I had a dog uh, named Lucy and a dog named uh, Brandy. Oh, Brandy was my heart. Lucy was my heart. I called her Lulu. <coughs> Brandy was a couple of months shy of turning 20 when she had a stroke. Lucy, Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> I got Lulu um, when I was married. And um, they told me she'd be about 30 pounds. First vet appointment, they said, this dog's part Great Dane. I said, she's part what? So the 30 pounds that pounds told me she was, yeah, that was in one butt cheek alone. But, oh my gosh, she was so sweet. She was part Great Dane and part Dalmatian. <coughs> so she got to be about 70 pounds. She was big. And um, it got to the point when she was older and she couldn't walk. And I remember because we have tile in my mother's house. She was in the hallway, and she died a month before my father. My father grew so attached to Diamond. I mean, to, uh, well, Diamond, too, but, um, to Lulu. Sometimes, I mean, my mother think that the trauma of losing Lulu and seeing her have to pass away, um, was too much on his heart. But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> Lucy was an eater, boy. She was in the hallway, and my father wasn't there, and me and my mother were trying to pick her up because she, she, you know, her legs would give out on her. And she weighed so much, me and my mother couldn't pick her up. She was sitting in the hallway maybe 10 minutes. And I stood at the end of the hallway and I went, Lucy, a double cheeseburger. Pew! She got up like like dynamite. Pew! I, went, oh, oh, God. I was like, so you can't get up, you get up for a double cheeseburger. <laughs> We're going to be seeing our pets in. Hang in there, family. I know these are dark days. You know, and this isn't doom and gloom, you know. It's exciting for us. We're going home soon. So, hang in there. Stay close to the Lord. Don't break your faith and trust in these politicians. There's no world leader that's going to solve this problem. Because you know what? When the bombs drop, I can guarantee they're going to save themselves and their own family. Jesus sacrificed himself for you. Heaven and hell are very real places, and you will be spending an eternity in one of those places. And I'm going to be looking for you at the marriage supper. So, hang in there. And keep looking up. Good night. God bless you. And if there's any breaking news tomorrow, I'll be back on. And if you're in Oklahoma, if you're in the um, Dallas-Fort Worth area, overnight, we got bad weather coming in. They've said it was supposed to rain all day, and then it, it changed. Now it looks like it's going to be hitting this area between 3 and 4 a.m. And up until about 10 a.m. tomorrow. So... Be safe out there, and um, I love you guys. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. <clears throat> thank you for all your prayers and all your help, and I pray for all of you every day. I pray for your family, your, your lost family members, your um, your um, health, your finances, your, uh, your family, your pets, your health. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.